Welcome to Road Ventures Hawaii, I'm Nick Morris. This is what we do. Like and subscribe, boys. What is up? Good morning, my adventure crew. Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. Whoa, whoa, what's the lower? <laughs> no more waves, huh? If it's your first time here, welcome aboard. You're coming back? Welcome back aboard. Today, I got a full crew today. I got representing the Wine Eye Wall, Wendell, I represent Kapolei, we got Kayak Kevin. We got a full crew today. So, plan is simple. Let's get out of the harbor. I don't know where we're going yet, we're going trolling. No idea, first time like trolling, like pull out on Ketchy Bay because bait is too much work right now, too much time. I don't have three hours to spend to get two old fellows. We're leaving the harbor now, and uh, we're gonna go, I guess go hunting, see what we can find today. All right, everybody, here we go. All right, so we're getting them ready to go. We're gonna run a nine inch uh, cherry bomb long. And then a uh, nine inch cherry bomb long. A uh, kamaboku, a uh, purple snow globe. Nine inch scoop. And then we have one more silver snow globe. So always when you put out lines, you guys want to start your center first. So this is going to be our furthest lure of the day. Start with your first lures first and work your way back. You guys want to make sure your hooks are nice. Everything set up perfectly before you put in the water. And wish you good luck. Check your clip one last time. This is your last time to check it before it goes. Sit down this way. Watch for a mark to come out and we'll stop it there. There's a mark, right there's a mark. So we're gonna like, keep going out. I like this, I like to hold my line. Where the mark is. So also be like Wendell, we'll let go to, to China. Remember that one time Wendell? We let go to China? You remember we let go to China that one yeah. time Wendell? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, see I almost gotta go to China. I'm talking to you, I have my head off the mark. So our rubber band man job. Right now too is about 6, 6.20 in the morning. Look at that. Ooh, that sunrise is gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be a beautiful sunrise today. Tide change, I think it's at like 8 o'clock today. So rubber band style. Wrap it on like four or five times. Come back down. Make sure it doesn't slip, we're good to go. And then I rubber band it. Roller shoulders are cool until they don't open. Watch this, bingo! And we're there already. Let the line out. Oh, we got one lure in the water trolling. Nice. Check our a 9 inch purple snow globe. Drop that guy. Same thing, there's gonna be a wax mark in here, so wait for a mark. And then uh, I know a lot of you guys in the mainland, there's a lot of you guys that keep asking about lures and stuff like that. I know a lot of you guys message me about lures. Um, but I have a website that should be up in about uh, maybe two or three weeks. And I'll be dropping stuff on there weekly, like lure head wise, whatever I get the polishing. So I'll, I'll make an announcement once the website is up and running, but say about two or three weeks, the website should be done. And I'll just drop batches. Maybe I'll drop like 20 of one head, 20 of one head the next week. I'll just be dropped like that. Put this one up, same thing. Whatever it is, you make sure you wrap it enough where it's not gonna slide, yeah? You don't want to get a strike and I think slides on you. That's the absolute worst. Then you have your outrigger bouncing like it's a kid in a bouncy house.
See anything? See it goes up. It went up. And now we just got the line. Do a little bounce. We're golden. What? What? After, after I double the lines. One of those second my guess in my musubis. Like you didn't drop your musubis yet. Say bruh, don't worry. I have got most of you with us. So this is Wendell's skirt job. Uh, purple, purple I guess, with a silver snow globe. Drop that guy back, we got a mark on here. That one no more mark, you just gotta eyeball him. So this is my, with the two shorts, this is my longest and that's my shortest one. With this one, we have a mark on here. With the other one, it's a just eyeball job. And there's a the mark. Good to go. Check your drags. Are you happy with that? Yep. You sure? I'm gonna get something. Gonna get something. Kevin, try pass the most me, Kevin. That like Kevin driving, driving us to victory. But you know the rules. You can never, ever go fishing on me. I forget the musubi. Well, I forgot it once. So, you gotta feed the sea god. If you wanna take something, you gotta give something. We'll see what we can turn this musubi into today. Here we go. Oh, and it's a deluxe. Hey, whose one was this? Was this yours? No. Oh, hi. You bought your own musubi. You like double musubi. Double musubi, yeah, you. All right, here we go, baby. Double musubi. <laughs> wow. I give one deluxe musubi. <laughs> Mine was deluxe. All right. So now, now is now is the, now is the simple part. Now we just wait. First bird pot of the day. About uh, 16 centi miles away from when I bought Harbor. And our first sign of life out here, huh? Bro, we got the puka head with us. Oh yeah, we got some, some dolphins. They found us. Do we make something happen here? Lots of birds. We have the puka head. First bird pile of the day was not holding anything. Got a couple puka head inside. A couple dolphins inside. They came up to say hello, but. That was it, nothing inside, so we keep going out. We're about 20 miles out now, pretty far. Can't almost see the island, pretty far out. On the hunt though, we should have a lot more birds out here shortly, so we're going to keep hunting. And Captain Wendell driving right now. Yeah. Huh? What? Huh? Yeah, small aqua dig. Hi right, Kevin, just turn them in. Oh here. Yeah, that's good. Just show me a bucket for now. Lana. What is it? Oh, Sorry, well, no, nobody saw you back off on the drag that much. <laughs> nah, nah, you're sick right there. Small aqua. Yeah. Probably like 12 pounds, maybe. Try check the lure, make sure you're good. Oh, we lost them. What do you buy, honestly? It's a nine inch purple snow globe. Bought me like a 10, 12 pound skipjack aku. I couldn't break the rubber band. I said it was small. Second bird pile of the day. But there's a huge bird pile outside of us. Big bird pile outside of us. Birds. 
working, they're working. That's a weird one. Must be a taro, maybe. So we got one on. We got him on. Might be a good size aqua, maybe on a taro. What lure is that one, though? 70 Kamaboku, huh? Kamaboku with the Kamaboku colors. Bet you a good size Otaru. That's how it first met you, Alabama. Oh, yeah, yeah. Long time ago. Huh? Weird, though. Yeah. Weird that it's high, huh? Yeah? Might be on Mai Mai, maybe. I don't know. It's staying super, super high. Huh? The gloves are no need. Huh? Why not? No need gloves. <laughs> you make me have to bleep that out now. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> this, this is a friendly, a family-friendly channel, Wendell. So let's see. Wendell went 0 and 1. Can Kevin change the luck? <laughs> Staying high, weird. What you see? Silver. It's the skip jack. Oh, good size, though. They went neutral. I'm gonna go down, go down see you neutral. Good size, yeah? Go ahead, Wendell, get him. Otaru. Yeah, you. Huh? Oh, you can cross him. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Let me put him in here. Nah, just in the bucket. Combo Boku. It's a good size one. Yeah. That's an Otaru. All right, go sit back up. So I know other parts of the world, they waste these, but in Hawaii, we love these skipjack tuna. When you get over 20 pounds, we actually refer to them as Otaru. So I don't know the definition of it is, but whenever I'll get over 20 pounds, we refer to them as Otaru. So right there, we refer to it as an Otaru. Yeah, Kev, you don't need to jump in today. Well. But Wendell, you getting wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. Oh, what is that? Is it? Nope. Nope. And if somebody wants it. Oh, you got the leader, dude. You got it. <laughs> 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 Take care of that shit. Don't let him go to pop, Kevin. Take care of that. Handle that. Handle that. <laughs> Don't let him go by the pop. Bring him around the pole. Bring him around the other side of the pole. No, around the pole. Don't bring him on my boat. <laughs> barracuda. Nobody wants a barracuda today. Nobody wants to eat it. You sure has good eats. It's a little bit slimy, but I think he's good. Oh, it's good eat. It's just slimy. These two guys, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Tweedledee and Tweedledum over here. Oh, you guys are killing me. Yeah! <laughs> How many guys are taking to unhook a barracuda? Apparently two. Kampale and Wainai. <laughs> Get them out. Let's go. You guys are killing me over here. That's right. We got content though. We got content. Uh, people are watching us think we are hooked up to an eye right now. There we go, throw him back. Yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> you get the leader, you do <laughs> <laughs> To be considered an Otaru has to be over 20 pounds. So it's 22.5 pounds. Good size. I'm going to cut this guy up. And then uh, we're going to make maybe a type of smoke dish. He has like the little smoker, so we're going to put the little smoker to use. See this guy filleted up, and then we'll get to it. 
this belly right here is probably one of the best bottom fishing baits, so we're gonna save that. We'll take off this head. So some people fry the eggs. I don't like the aqua eggs. They have a different taste to them. I don't like that. If you ever call it aqua skipjack, we call it aqua noy, fried aqua bone, the center bone. That is the best. So we'll do that. We're gonna cut it off. We'll save the belly for, like I said, bait. And you know, at the end of this, we'll, we'll cut open the belly. Let's see what's in his belly. The best bait right here, hands down. Oops. This is literally the best bottom fishing bait. We'll save that. Daddy, what is inside that fish? What is the white stuff? This? Yeah. This is eggs. Ew. This is his belly. Ew. The funny thing is, it's like a 22 pound Otaru. And for us, it's just food. I think the guys in Kona actually drag these light bait. I'm pretty sure guys in Kona drag these for light bait to drag us those grander marlins. Which is crazy. Now there's two ways to do this type of fish, okay? You can go a nice like this and fly it real nice off the bone, get hardly any meat on the bone. Or you can use a big knife, just pull it straight off the back. And for me, I like to do the fried aqua bone, so I like to leave meat on the bone. So with this, we'll just fly it off and I'll leave a, a good amount of meat on that center bone. Watch for the reveal. Oh, beautiful meat. We left a good amount of meat on that center bone. Nice amount of meat on that center bone to fry up. This right here is a meal for Damien, all that center bone meat. This was great pokey, great sashimi, that oil on that thing. Whew, awesome. So a big part of why this fish is so nice, honestly, is to the, after you catch it, how you take care of the fish, you know what I mean? So the, the key is to get all that blood out of them really, really fast. And Wendell, you know, the reason the fish is so nice is thanks to Wendell. Wendell knows he's going to take care of fish. He bled the fish, got all the blood out of the fish instantly, which is important. And then uh, put it on ice, you know what I mean? Get the fish cool as you can, fast as you can, get all the blood out, stop the, stop the meat from going bad. He brain the fish, stick a knife in his head and put him right in his brain to kind of put him out of his misery. Number two, for two things, it's cruelty, you don't want to be cruel to him. I mean, I get out of his misery as fast as you can. And number two is you don't want all the adrenaline going through the fish to make the meat come bad. But this right here is the absolute best bait ever, if you ever use that for any type of bottom fishing or shore fishing. Throw it in the freezer and it'll be good for a long time. All right, let me get this all cleaned up and then uh, we'll get to cooking. Here we go. So now it's time for our catching cook part. We're back at the same cutting table. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna smoke a piece of the bone. A piece of probably a lavi I sort of waste. It's probably, to me, is one of my most favorite eating pieces. Um, we have our smoker. You saw a smoker last year, summertime. I was using it a lot. I've used it for a while. Um, cleaning is kind of a humbug. So what I did to make it easier is I put foil on the bottom and foil on this, the drip tray, I guess. And that should make camp a lot easier. Um, I'll look for links on Amazon again. I know they stopped selling for a while. Hopefully they're starting to sell them again. But to me, it's a really good smoker. And all it uses is uh, denatured alcohol as a cooking element. So denatured alcohol, we'll fill these up with denatured alcohol and then we'll put our smoke chips down. So let's get to filling these guys up. And you wanna fill them up somewhere where, I guess, is safe for flames because potentially, it's alcohol, it could catch on fire, and if you're not safe. So let's fill those up on the ground, of course. And I'll say about, I don't know, maybe pretty full. Oh, it's going everywhere. Oh my God. And this is why you fill up. Or somewhere where you don't care 
if you get alcohol on the ground because it's not a fire hazard. You don't want to do this in your house. This is definitely an outdoor activity for sure. The smoker itself. We got our smoker. We have our smoke chips. So these are Apple smoke chips. These are from Amazon. I'll put a link in my box for that too if you want. I'm gonna sprinkle a little pretty much in the center. right under the pan so it's perfect so I put smoke chips and then all we have to do now is pretty much start our fire so let's get our fire started and then from there it's just a waiting game it takes probably about uh maybe 20 minutes somewhere on there let's get it started this part you want to be careful because there's alcohol everywhere you want to have, have alcohol on your hands and then light it and get be on fire you don't want to be a you don't want to be a, a flamethrower one second So the bad thing with this type of flame that I've learned in the past is with denature alcohol, the flame is kind of a, it's a invisible flame. You can't see it. So it makes it extremely dangerous because you can't see the flame. So you light it, you don't know if it's there. You're kind of like, ah, okay, it's hot. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that one's on. That one's on too. All right, so we're both on. So we did our our, our dummy proof uh, temp test. Put this on here, just like so. We're gonna take our screen. We're gonna put our screen right on there, just like so. And then we have our aku belly for the our, our aku bone for this. All we do is salt it. That's all. On the, that's all that's on there is a little bit of salt. And when smoky, you don't even have to flip it. We'll just put it down, and that's it. We'll put the lid on top. We'll seal it up, and we'll come back in twenty minutes. I'll we'll see what happens. Fish is still cooking. We just put it on the on the smoker. But you know, you might know this guy from previous videos as uh, the Owama Slayer. Yes, sir. Kieran forgot his piece of otaru. So where are you going? We're going to the mountain for what? Check out some pigs. Hopefully, catch some dinner. A pig hunt over here. So see his dog. They don't bite, huh? Nope. Hey, hey. Got pig dogs are here. Alright. See you later. So we got the pig hunters. Alright, well good luck. Let me know in the in the video if you guys want to see in the comments. Let me know in the comments. If you guys want to see me go this guy pig hunting. He's telling me, bring your camera so let's go pig hunting. We do fishy, we don't do pig hunting, but if you want to see me a pig hunting video with this guy, let me know in the comments. Say pig hunter, we want to see you pig hunting. I'm not a pig hunter at all, but this guy is. Yes sir. <laughs> Alright, well back to the smoke. Back to the smoke. Okay, so it appears that it should be done. It's been about 20 minutes, right? Maybe 25 minutes. And let me just pop this guy open. I'll see what's going on. And see how we put the foil down? It makes the cleanup a lot easier. But that fish is definitely done. Let's put it on the plate. Let me try this with the camera. There we have it. Smoked Akubon. Let's try it out. It definitely has a nice, a nice look to it. It definitely has a, a nice look to it. So I'll take a little bite and I'll take the rest of those for Damien. Oh, it's cooked all the way through. Oh yeah, it's cooked all the way through. Now I just put a little salt on this guy. That's it. Wow, that has a super, super good um, smoke, smoke flavor to it, like a super good smoke flavor, a real sweet smoke flavor. That's really good. Maybe I take another before I get the name in. That's good. That's super good. 
So I guess that's the smoked aqua bone right there. It's good, very good. Do not throw the bone twist. I'm telling you, that's the best part. If you don't fry it, smoke it. It's unbelievable. But I guess as the title said, the man overboard. Let's take you to the scene and show you guys kind of what happened, I guess. <laughs> uh, a setup, I guess the setup for it was, we were saying, uh, we told Wendell, we told her, we made the, the deal the day. I was like, you know what? If anybody loses a fish today, you have to jump in the water. So that was a deal. So was there any jumping in the water? If you see what happened to Wendell, the boat kind of drove away from him. It was kind of funny. He didn't, we didn't know he was going to jump in the water. The boat was still in gear and he jumped in the water. I was like, where the hell is this? Where is he going? The boat's still in gear. <laughs> so here, here's that video. Tell him, you lose fish. You got to jump in. Let's <laughs> go. The boat didn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> the boat didn't stop. You lose the fish. You gotta jump in. The boat didn't stop. You jumped in. <laughs> what a crazy ass! All right, buddy. As always, thanks for watching. Say lives. Say fishing. And we'll see you on the water. Yay! I got right there. Why not? Why not? That's why. <laughs>